Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and I'm going to share with you what I got from the grocery store. I wasted $68. I did get things I wanted, but they were not at all things that I needed. But I wanted to share with you in the video where I was showing the kitchen string. This is the recipe that I needed it for and you see those little things right there and it's the thick kind, which is what I needed. This was a book that I got for this rolled pork roast recipe. I think it's called... Italian stuffed pork loin roast. This just looks so good. At the time, olive tamponade and the kitchen string were the two things I couldn't find. So I just wanted to share that really quickly because these were going to be mentioned in the video and I thought to get this out and show it to you now. And then I'll also share with you um, one of the things that I love to put that vanilla in that I was telling you about. Okay, next, this is my basic cheesecake recipe, and I got this from this Philadelphia Cream Cheese book. It has a bunch of recipes in here, and this right here is the basic cream cheese recipe. I hope that you can see this, and it's not a whole lot of things at all. It's whatever your favorite cream cheese is from this list, which mine is the regular. Half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, which I actually use a full teaspoon, two eggs and then whatever crust that you want to use as far as the ready crust and it doesn't take long at all in case you want to try this i hope that you can see that if not just let me know but yeah whenever i would make this i did it on a chocolate um cookie crust and i would either top it with strawberries or cherries and i would make it for people and they would actually pay me um and it bakes thicker than what it is but guys i found my vanilla and thank god i found two of them let me show you this one is a full bottle, and these aren't very expensive. Y'all saw some of the vanilla in the store. I do like pure vanilla, okay? And some of the newer ones in the store, I think one was called, I forget what it was called. It was something Spice, but it was not Spice Island. And for a while there, I don't know if Spice Island, it can't be McCormick like I thought it was, because as you can see, it says www.spiceislands.com. So I will be trying this phone number and that website because I haven't bought this in a while but this is my secret weapon in everything I use this in things that don't even call for vanilla it goes into my chest pie it goes into this cheesecake um a lot of times I'll put a teaspoon in my cake mix especially that pecan cake mix that I told you people raved about and it was just box cake mix so I do have two thank goodness because we're gonna try that um green tea frappuccino recipe again so now guys i'm going to get on with it and we're going to share with you what i got 68 dollars worth of nothing but some fluff no ink pens nobody care none of the stuff i was supposed to be after not even a pork chops so these are the first few things i picked up this was the very first thing i picked up and that's a sin and a shame but i wanted to try these a little strawberry ice cream cone kisses i haven't had them and they said limited edition and then i'm going to be eating this now um, i wanted the one that looked like it came in the orange wrap and it was called something else but they didn't have any of those left they make these sandwiches overnight and then they sell out during the day so i got this one and this is what it looks like. It's Tex-Mex, but that's supposed to be chicken in there. And then I had these to eat when I left. So only two of these are missing. This little bitty thing was $3.99. And of course, I had to get some lemon cookies to go with the cookies that I haven't baked yet up there. But I just wanted to get these just because. So guys, I actually went into the grocery store supposedly to get some pork chops and some white sweet corn and those little um, Red Baron pizza sandwiches that I've hauled on here before. They didn't have any of those. Um, and of course my pork chops went by the wayside, but I have really guys been craving some golden buttermilk fried pork chops with that um, corn and some sliced tomatoes and some kind of really good mashed potatoes whether they are garlic loaded mashed potatoes or just buttery mashed potatoes i've also been craving some ribs some macaroni and some baked beans all of which i can make if i just stop being lazy and actually buy food at the grocery store so i got these two little things for the weekend that i work so friday and saturday and then i'll have something for tomorrow because when i come in from work i just want a little something to eat not a lot so this is what i ended up settling on i've never had these before these i get all the time and i'll put these up as we speak um i got this little Lacroix to have with these um 
little sandwiches that I got, but I forgot that I got a Pepsi from the laundromat, so I will drink that instead. Had to get my whipped cream because when I made my little recipe, I was out of whipped cream yesterday, and it wasn't bad. So, on the topic of the whipped cream, I found this organic sugar because the recipe um, that I used was from YouTube, and I will have more about who I got it from when I do my little retry of it but this is organic raw cane sugar so i don't know if it blends better it has a different look than granulated sugar but guys this ended up only being 3.99 it was the first thing i handed the little cashier guy and i asked him to tell me how much it was so this had nothing to do with my little 68 dollar total and i'm so mad at myself guys because i still want that fenty butter and I'm going to see what ordinary products are at our store. It's my goal to go to Sephora. I want to get the Fenty Butter and the Mob Wives Gloss. I want to get um, a Milk Tea Gloss, I think by Kaja, if I'm not mistaken. And I also want to get whatever, like I said, um, of the ordinary products. I think only one of the ones in my basket are available in store. So, and I still want those ink pens. I have messed up three of my Big Velocity ink pens because my favorite passion fruit lip gloss from Bath and Body Works opened up in my purse and ruined my blue one and my red one. That's what I get. But anyway, guys, this was $3.99. So if you have to look for some of this, um, it's not that expensive. And this was the kitchen string that I got because the first time I found kitchen string, it's not this thick. And looking at that recipe, I do believe that I need something of this thickness. I got measuring spoons because I did not have any. I do have some. I just can't find them in this little apartment. I should be able to find everything. I wanted to try these deodorants right here. So this one, I got the white flowers and lychee. I have never used to greet um, deodorant before, but y'all know that I love that lavender body wash. And one of my old standbys right here is Shore Unscented. I love Shore Unscented, Dove Unscented, Secret Unscented, but this has been around. All the other deodorants that I loved have all been gone or they've made new ones and this is still around and I really do like it. They had these two for five dollars at Schnucks. I found the first one at Target. So I went ahead and I got these two here. And then I wanted to try these. Normally I don't mess with little things like this because the little Seagram's coolers gave me a headache. But this is a little frozen slushy drink. And let me see. Yeah, it says it contains alcohol. So I'm going to try these out because they look too good to leave there. And it looks like they make maybe one or two. They might. Let me see. I might be wrong. But you apparently put these in the freezer. Let me see if I can share that with you. You freeze and enjoy. No blenders, no ice, no mess. Because I am what you would call a less than social drinker. So I don't know if there's a name for me. I mean, like, I am that person that talks about I want me, you know, certain honey vodkas. And I want some Belvedere and Grey Goose. Or I want, you know... Remy and Martell, and then I get it and I look at it. That's how my friends described it, and guys, they are right. I will get liquor. I'll have a hard day at work talking about, I'm going to go home and make me a cocktail, right? Yeah, I come home and I look at the liquor, and then I make me some cherry Coke. So I don't know what you would call a less than social drinker, but that's me. I'm that person that, even though I don't like all beers, if you had an event and all you had was beer, I would drink it because everybody else is drinking it. Or if there's something where there's choices, like say hard liquor, or soft liquor, I'd be that person that would go after that white wine or something like that. But I do occasionally make cocktails. I used to mix up a bunch of stuff. I would mix up daiquiris. I would mix up Manhattans, Manhassets. I was stuck on Cosmopolitans for a while. But like I said, whatever a person would be called that is less than a social drinker, that would be me. So we're going to see what else I got here. So here are my last little items. I got hot sauce because I was out of hot sauce, not because I wanted it for the pork chops. Sometimes I use hot sauce and sometimes I don't. When I make those pork chops that I soak in buttermilk, I usually won't use the hot sauce because it makes them so golden brown and delicious. And then sometimes I do. It just depends. And I was out of mustard. Sometimes I feel like my mustard evaporates. Like I'll buy mustard and then it's empty. But I haven't bought much to use it with. I haven't made any baked beans and I got the bologna which is what I wanted the mustard to go with and other than that I don't really use mustard so I don't know what I did I didn't get it for a recipe 
And then this right here is Fruit Fresh Produce Protector. I'm planning on making my banana cream pie soon. And when I use this, the bananas don't go black because when I first made that banana cream pie, it was years ago, back like in 1992, um, the bananas would go black like within hours and I hated to make this dessert and give it to someone. So I had learned that when I put this all over my bananas, like I will slice my bananas up and I'll put them in the little pie um, plastic thing that you take off the lining and I will sprinkle this all on top. And then I'll turn the bananas over and I'll sprinkle that like I'm generous with it. And it doesn't affect the taste of my banana cream pie at all. And it holds up for like two days. Like I can take it somewhere if they put it in the refrigerator. I'd say it gives me about a good two and a half days, you know. And the pie don't last two days depending on how many people's eating it. But that way I don't have that blackness. So if you do anything with any banana dishes where you can put fruit fresh or anything like that on there, try this because it keeps them from going black so fast. So that's all I have, guys. I'll come back later and we'll try to do another um, frappuccino. So until the next time, everyone have a great day. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that I can share something that you need to know or that you would like to see. Um, and I just wish everyone the best. So until the next time, again... Everyone have a great day.